Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add text recognition capability to your Android application. If you have no peer experience on machine learning, then it really doesn't matter because we are going to use MLKit. MLKit is a Google platform which offers machine learning capabilities. And if you are using on device machine learning capability, then one of the advantages that you get is you use it either one time or a million time. It really doesn't matter, it's completely free. Also, your data remains on your device. It works without internet and it's with very low latency, which means that it can work with the live feed of the camera. And today we are going to see that we are going to add text recognition to the live feed of the camera. But before I talk about adding ML capabilities and all those things, what is text recognition? So another term for this one is OCR, which means that you may be pointing your camera on a place where something is written, say that a poster or a signboard, and you want to read the text out of the image. And OCR does that. So you might have seen it with the Google Translator app where it can automatically read from the image. Now you can add that capabilities to your Android application through MLKit. So let's see how to get started with MLKit. So switch to Gradle and add the MLKit dependency. Because I'm using text recognition, so I have added for the text recognition. Now one thing here is that it is really not limited to use only one ML capability at one time. Which means that if you want to use other ML capabilities which MLKit offers, say for barcode scanning or for smart reply or for even offline translation. So you can add all those dependencies here and you can use it either in a single screen or in different screens. So now, as I said, as I'm using text recognition, so I've added only for the text recognition. Next part is in the manifest. So do not forget to add the metadata. If you forgot to add metadata, then first time when you try to use this model, it will try to download the model at that time. And if you add this, then at the time of installation, it will download the model for you. By this way, you can save time of the user. They need not have to wait because until model is not available on the device, which means that until model is not downloaded, this is not going to give you any result. And that's where this metadata is really crucial. Now let me switch to the main activity. Here I'm using the camera X. The Android X camera X feature provides really, really good feature through that you can write a very small piece of code and yet achieve a lot of things. Like for example, this is the preview view and entire camera view work is handled by this preview view. This TV prediction text view is just to show the text whatever it is reading from the live feed. And now let's see how can I use this preview view. So initially, I check for the permission. Do I have the camera permissions or not? And if I have it, then start camera. Otherwise, request for the permission. Now about if I have it. So if in case I have it, then create this camera provider feature. Then add the listener. Inside this listener, you are having this code, which is doing all the work for our ML task. Remaining all these things is useful for rendering the camera frame on screen. But our ML use case depends on this image analysis. Let me show you what's going on here. So you can create multiple image analyzer. And inside this, you'll get the method called as analyze, where you can perform any ML related work or any other works like 
light intensity or zoom in the camera so all sort of things you can do using this image analysis so here for us it's text recognition so inside this object detector analyzer this is the overridden method analyze now on this image proxy get this image object and as soon as you get this image object you can check for the null if it is null then just ignore it if it's not null then here we do all our original work so only by this line of code you add text recognition capability to your android app from the input image get this method from media image media image and then provide the degree rotation this media image is something which you are getting from this image proxy then to the text recognizer now this is nothing but this text recognition dot get client on this pass this image object and that's it so just three step initialize this text recognizer get the image object pass this image object to the recognizer and by this way you have added text recognition capability to your app one important thing to remember if you are getting this kind of error mlkit exception internal error has occurred while executing mlkit task then do try to add this image proxy dot close inside complete listener by default when you see in the code lab or some other places you'll see this written outside everything it's like inside this function but in case you are getting this error then just move this from outside to inside this listener and that's it for this it's like just checking for the permission on destroy just shutting down the camera executor on permission request is just like a normal on permission request if permission is granted then start camera and that's it so just around 150 lines of code and you have text recognizer capability for your app a to z code is this one itself so that's it for this video. I hope this might be useful for you to understand about how you can add ML capability to your Android application. And in the upcoming video, I'm going to show you more capabilities offered by MLKit and how you can take an advantage of them. So stay tuned for the upcoming video. And if you have liked this video, then hit the like button, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you and stay tuned.